Hey everyone, and welcome back to another day where we explore beautiful parts of New Zealand. Today we're in for a treat. We're going up to the Pukai Ranges. I'll be going up there to get a great shot of Mount Taranaki. Hopefully the weather will be good. I have been going last couple days just back and forth on the weather checking different charts I must have had like five charts up and there's only so much you can do at the end it all comes down to luck I think I picked a good day I'm I'm going up tonight for sunset and I'm staying at the at the hut on the top and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a chance to get if I don't get the shot in the afternoon I'm gonna try and get it first thing in the morning either way you're in for a treat. It's one of the things that I've always wanted to do. And because of this channel now, I have an excuse and a reason to go out there and explore parts of New Zealand. And I'm so happy for that. So let's see what we do. So let's go to the top and I'll meet you there. So I've made it to the hut. It was a good walk. Uh, it was supposed to be a two hour walk and I was able to make it in about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, there's some more people coming up just right here. Um, just the view up here is just spectacular. Let me see if I can turn around and show you. So I've come up here to photograph the iconic Mount Taranaki with the tarns, which is the pools. And um, I'm hoping that I can get a reflection which is the shot that everybody looks for. But it's a bit windy this afternoon, so more than likely my composition is gonna to try to be slightly different than just dead center with the pools and then the, the mount in the background. I'm here for the night since I'm staying at the hut. So if the wind doesn't die down by tonight, uh, we'll wake up early in the morning and try my luck tomorrow morning as well. So I have two chances to get this photo, but I, like I said before, I looked at the weather, the weather patterns, and it's supposed to be light breeze, but when you're up here, there's no rules and the wind is the wind. So um, I knew that the weather was going to get worse for the following week, and I think I'm heading towards the end of the season to get up here before winter really hits. Um, if anything, I could always come back in the future in the, in the summertime. But at the same time, it's really good to come up here because I've heard that a lot of people can stay in here and people sleep on the floor. And right now I have the room pretty much to myself. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for us to get into that area and, and see what tonight brings. If there's anything like I saw in the morning, man, the light is just amazing. And I hope that it can show off its colors for me tonight too. Just a quick update while I'm up here waiting for the sun to go down. The weather just changes so quick. Like, look at it now. Like, we're just in complete whiteout. And then it'll be about 20 minutes and you can see the coast again. And then the clouds just come through. So I hope that in the evening things settle down and I'll be able to go to the Tarns and be able to see Taranaki. But, um, oh, if it stays like this, it's not gonna look too well. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to walk up, but it's not looking too good. As you can see, that's the sun behind me and it's really cloudy. I'm hoping that I need to climb up a bit and then come over and I'm hoping that on that side, maybe the clouds won't be all over the place because it's kind of like a little valley right here. So I'm crossing my fingers that it clears up. Wow, you beauty. Look at this. Oh, but I'm gonna go quickly and set up when that light goes away. Hopefully, this stays looking like that. So the 
lakes where the tarns are just over here, but there's a lot of clouds covering Taranaki. You can kind of see it just right here. So I'm thinking maybe I should go back up while the light is still hitting the mountain and maybe I can get a shot from up there where the clouds weren't on that corner um, and then maybe come back here for the, for the morning and hopefully this will be more clear. I mean, it keeps popping in and out, but it's either take the chance of going over there and not getting anything or going over here where I saw that I can get something. So I gotta make a choice now and I got like two minutes to decide. So this is my viewpoint. I was gonna go down to the Tarns, but as you can see, it is just covered in cloud. And in fact, I made it just to the bottom there and I looked over to the right and it was just cloud, cloud, cloud. So I said, let me run back up before it's too late. The sun is now going down. As you can see, it's getting really pink. And I got an ND filter on the front and I got about a 30 second view. It is a bit of shelter area here, so the wind's not blowing too hard. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm not gonna get any shake. Uh, although the focal length is at 70, but I'll see if I maybe go in a little bit tighter or maybe I move a little bit further this way. So my foreground element isn't the best. I wanted the lake, but it's exactly what landscape photography does. You plan for the best, and when it doesn't happen, you gotta improvise. But at least I got the nice New Zealand bush, uh, right vegetation more like it, right in front of me. And at the moment, I got it vertical, and I'm gonna do a few shots where I can make, try to get somewhat of a landscape shot and stitch them later on. And again, we'll see which one works better. Now I've taken the ND filter off, and I just wanted to see how that would look. I'm gonna go back and forth to see what results gets me the best result. So I'm at 1 16th, F11, taking the shot. Hopefully that comes out. So it's just about 7 a.m that around 7, 10, 7, 15, the sun will be hitting just the top of the peak of the mountain. Technically, the sunrise is in about 7.45, but you have to be here a bit early just so you can get that first light. So at the moment, my composition is kind of set somewhat like this. So because it's a bit dark right now, I don't need an ND filter. I'm able to just slow down the shutter enough to about 15 seconds to smooth out the water. But as the sun rises, I might have to play with uh, the exposure levels and to try to get that more smooth. I wish we can get that glassy look, but we're here and we've got to make the best out of it. So while we wait for the light to get a little better, I have a quick story. I've actually summit the top here and it's so beautiful. Like you, once you're on a clear sky morning, you get up super early, you start climbing before the sun comes up. You get about midway, you start getting the sunrise, you get to the top, you have your breakfast, and you just have 360 views of all the region. You can see Ruapehu in the distance. You can almost see Auckland, it's so clear. I definitely recommend coming up here if you can. It's just spectacular. So the light's just starting to catch now. What I've done is I've put my 10 stop ND filter on there and I'm gonna, about, I'm gonna do about a minute exposure is what it's kind of asking for, maybe a minute and a half. As the sun comes up, it'll be less and less, but I'm just starting to get a bit of the pink and, the, and there's a bit of clouds now rolling in, so that should make for a good shot. The only thing here is I'm fighting against the wind, so I'm trying to keep the tripod stable and hopefully I don't get any shakes, no vibrations, because then you get a soft image. So, see what we can get here. So the wind just keeps kicking up, just when you think you got the shot. Here, let me take the shot before. While it's still relatively calm. But then the wind will just pick up and whoo, It's just unpredictable. That's the beauty of it. My fingers are freezing, but it's well worth it.
as you can see the sun's come up and some clouds are just starting to roll in um, this has definitely been one of my favorite trips I'll definitely have to come back when the weather's a bit better but for now I'm gonna leave you here with the mountain and until next time remember to keep exploring